Hello everyone, uh, I'd like to welcome you to today's uh, broadcast. I'm reaching you from Toronto, Canada. And um, uh, this is a day I really want you to do me a favor and share this video. I know uh, bloggers always say this, but this one is particularly very, very important. I need you to share this video. I need you to invite as many people as possible and um let me just warn you that i'm going to say some things that will annoy you uh, to provoke you if you don't understand uh what is going on so i'm just going to ask you if you are not going to be able to uh contend what is happening just stay away because today we're going to say things really that you might not like okay so, having said that, I um, I, I I I want to thank all of all those of you who have been with us for a long time, and then also those of you who are just joining in. Please make sure that you subscribe, hit the notification bell, and uh, leave us a comment. Okay, and uh, for for those of you who are our um, older subscribers we always want to thank you for your support and um, your encouragement that is what keeps us going so today um, I'm gonna be I'm gonna be um, discussing um, the Nigerian army's uh, attack because that's what it is attack on uh, civilian communities in Olo and with that if you understand the international rules of engagement especially when it has to do with um, with um, uh, military aggressions and stuff like that you will understand that that is tantamount to a declaration of war against a community i don't believe don't believe what you're hearing from me today i'm going to show you what other people are saying people that are supposed to know because if you're still if you're still deceiving yourself that nigeria is a is a country or nigeria is um it's not even a, I don't I don't know should I call it a country should I call it a nation but for, just for the purposes of um, what we're discussing let us say let's use the word country if you're still kidding yourself and thinking that Nigeria is a country that people don't have tribal sentiments people don't think about their own people whenever issues arise you're wasting your time and that is who that is what human beings are naturally if you are not able to think about and and i hate it when people try to discourage you from thinking or talking about your people the same people who are discouraging you from talking about your people these same people when you discuss anything and you come close to their families notice how they react they don't joke with their fathers they don't joke with their mothers they don't joke with their children they don't joke with their wives so what is what are you telling me that means you are family oriented let's move it move a little bit when you talk about you know maybe inside the local government and you touch their village come and see how these people react the same people that accuse me of chidi why are you always talking about your tribe why are you when i talk about other things it's okay for them when i talk about other people it's okay for them when i fight for everybody it's okay for them but when i pause to focus to zoom in on my people you have a problem well if that is your problem then that is your problem. I can't help you. There is not this. See, I have friends. 
and I fight for my friends. I protect my friends. I'm loyal to my friends. If you know me very well, you know this is who I am. But in the same vein, in the same vein, I don't want you to come near my tribe. No. I don't want you to come near my people. I don't want you to come near my village. I don't want you to have any problem with me speaking my language. Onwe kala si we obo gidegi. E we be ju mi fenja asu igbo. E ma na ezi oku na ala na agba gi. I love my language. I love my people. My people love me so much that they give me a chieftaincy title. Not because I have money, not because I can go and buy a red car. No, it is because of my love for my people and what I have done for my community. And so today, when I'm talking about Biafra, I'm talking about Biafra with every atom, every cell in my body and the love that I have for my Biafran people. A lot of you try to misunderstand me. You see me wear... Uh, a revolution now, uh, um, beret, and you're like, Chidi, why do you wear that revolution now, beret? It is purely because I 100% believe that Nigeria was due. We have passed. We have passed the point of revolution since. We should have been, right now, eh, we shouldn't be talking about revolution by now. So I 100% believe in revolution now and i believe in omoyele shore and his call for a revolution inside that nigeria i hope that settles it for you all your talk about one nigeria you 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 just say it because you want to say it you don't understand what is on the ground so i'm not going to waste time with you why am i laying this foundation i'm laying this foundation to make you understand that enough of you thinking that we cannot talk about war war is not good war is not good at all i was born during the war and my parents suffered my parents had to trek long distances i lost my uncles i lost aunties i've heard terrible stories of my people how they were eating raw cassava i've I've, I know about war and I know that war is terrible. I have seen videos. I have seen pictures. Nobody wakes up in the morning and says they are planning a war. But make no mistake about it. Make no mistake about it that if you bring war to my doorsteps, I will be forced to fight a war with you. If you think that Dr. Chidi is fanning the flame of war, yes let it be if you think that dr chidi is 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 beating the drum beat for war let it be what do you want what else do you want what do you want from me what do you want to hear from me what do you want from my people for how long for how long what is all this nonsense you see can you imagine can you imagine a village when i go to my village the, see, a lot of people are no longer in the village, including people like me. So I have so much respect when I see my friends who have stayed back to either go into animal husbandry. My, my people have cow. A friend of mine is a lawyer, barrister Afam Ani. I'm from Omoane in Ozala town in Enugu. Local, uh, in, uh, in, in Kano West local government of Enugu State. My friend, Barrister Afamani, he has his practice in Lagos, but in the village, he has a farm. He has cows in that farm. He has cows. So it's not only Fulani people that know how to rear cows. My uncle in our village in Ugwaji, my grandfather, used to have over 80 cows. 
over 80 cows. We all used to carry the cows to go to the forest and they will eat grass and we'll come back to the house. We will guide these cows. They will not enter anybody's farm. If the cow dares enter anybody's farm, the village community will make my grandfather. You must pay. You must pay the owner of that farm. So we understand animal husbandry. There is a cow that is called a fibo, the bull. If you see the, the big one, the big bull, they are heavy, big, rounded. So we understand it. And so what am I trying to say? I, I applaud people, those of us that have gone back to the village, they've stayed back in the village, they are, they, are, they are operating from the village, some of them have jobs in the city, they still go there, they are principals, they are, they are teachers in the schools, they are manning the hospitals, they are operating from the village, they are taking care of everything, they are, the, 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 the leadership, the authority, the, the everything, the town unions, they are still taking care of these things. I applaud them. You imagine the serenity, the calmness that you have in a village. Picture that. Around 637, there's quietness. You hear the birds. And everything goes to sleep. And by 5.30 in the morning, 5 o'clock, the cock begins to crow in the village. Birds begin to sing. The sun rises. There's dew on the grasses. The hunters go into the bush to check their, their traps. All that village life that you go to the stream, the water is clean. Well, those ones that are yet not polluted. I want you to picture that kind of environment. And then imagine a helicopter. I don't know if you've heard the sound of a helicopter. Normal, just normal helicopter. Then compare the sound of a military helicopter. A military helicopter uses a jet engines. So it's able to do some maneuvers. It, the sound is more than the sound of a normal helicopter. Maybe what I'm saying, you may not understand it. So I'm going to play a video from my channel. So that you will see what happens when a military helicopter is Today is um when a military helicopter hovers over your vicinity. I want you to hear the sound and imagine how the people, if it was you in your village, how you will feel when you hear the sound. I'm going to go and and get this sound. And, and show you so that sometimes when we say these things you people think we are joking or you don't understand why we are saying what we are saying then you will tell me what is the reason why you will be doing that amongst a people just watch this and tell me if it was you how you would feel This is from our channel, so you can go back and watch it. What is happening? <laughs> hey, Nigeria! <laughs> Hey, Jesus Christ, so Kevin, Kevin, come. Hey, Kevin, you're down. I got to be cool. Huh? Kevin, you're down. I'm going. Jesus, the Bible. Did you hear them shooting? Hey. Okay. Well, some people said they, they, they didn't shoot. You heard them shooting. Jesus. Hey. Hey. 
Wala be like bad go na na bo le bo na which kind of save this one Jesus Na bo le bo na So na go na So uh the thing is some people were saying oh Chidi why are you posting that video and the military actually came and said that um, they were just doing um, uh, a test, a test flight, test flight inside our village. You're doing a test flight. You should. Do you know how? Many, do you know the people that are in the village? Can you imagine? Look, let me tell you something. If you are still from the eastern part of Nigeria and you don't understand that. The way you are seen, you are seen like a conquered person. Somebody told me, oh, Chidi, stop talking like that. The day you said it, my heart dropped. Sorry, that's the truth. Nigeria views Biafra, the land of Biafra, as a conquered people. You see us as a people who you are doing a favor. When you give us, even, even when somebody like Obasanjo talks, he said, we, ev we, we even allow them. So, so we are not, we, we don't have equal rights in Nigeria. We are not seen as people who belong. You see us as a defeated people. You see us as people who you have conquered. So you are doing us a favor. And yet you say that after the war, it was no victor, no vanquish. No. You don't show that by your attitudes. You don't show that by the way you, well, you don't. By what? Just tell me by what? Is it by the disparity in in, 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 in in infrastructure? Look at look look at the insult you insult us with Niger Bridge. Every day you want to talk, you say Niger Bridge. After all, we are doing Niger Bridge for you. Can you imagine? Can you imagine what insult? See, look, eh? Don't if you want to insult me, just just start from don't don't just be play, don't don't sugarcoat it. Just call me bloody fool. Or just call me, uh, uh, won't, won't, just insult me. Don't don't come and sugarcoat it at all. You've insulted us enough. You have insulted us enough. And so we have come to the point where even you, even you, you have told us that the people who are attacking us are full of headsmen. You have said it openly. First of all, we told you that people are attacking us, so do something about it. You didn't do anything about it. We showed you videos of men and women being slaughtered like animals inside our villages. Some of you politicians and state governors in the East, you said, I called people, I called prominent people in Biafra land. I'm telling you, if I tell you that I call them, you know, yes, I call them. I'm telling you from the highest of the politicians to whatever. And I'm telling you from Enugu State to River State, I call these people. And every time I call them, I said, listen to what Mazin Namdekano is saying. And me too, I have my own intelligence. What do you guys say? say Chidi, no, don't talk like that. This thing is not like you're saying, no, it's not like you're saying. I uh, see now as pe people came home for Easter, people came home for Christmas. This is what they kept saying. And I kept telling them, what you're saying is not in sync with the news that we are getting. You know, we have our sources of news. So what you're I don't think you people know what is going on. And so we started screaming that look, something is going on in our forest. When I went to campaign for governorship in Enugu State, I was nearly killed. Because there was a place I was supposed to go. They told me, Chid, if you go there, Fulani men will kill you. Not, not up to three, four days later, the, 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 it was around Udi. The secretary of the local government went there because they attacked some villagers. He went there to try to make peace. They killed him. That could have been me. 
I'm not telling you what they told me. I'm telling you what I experienced. So when we kept screaming that these things are happening, you did not come to our aid. Our mothers could no longer go to the farms to farm. The pine wine tappers could not go to tap their pine wine. The hunters could not go to hunt. Don't you understand that the big cassava farms are not done around the house because the lands around the house are usually lands that families have, you know, they used to build their houses. As the years have grown, there is not much land for farming around the house. Where you have big land for commercial farming is in the forest. Nobody could go there anymore. We can't go to get a uh, 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 abaca grows in the forest. Don't you understand? We can't go to get Oto. We cannot go to get a uh, 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 what they call Ugiri. Ochakere. All those things at Oto. All those things that grow in the forest. Honey. We can't do that anymore. Because of people who even the Nigerian government, the state, I'm going to play for you what Bauchi state governor said. So that you understand. They said, oh, you have to understand, these people are not even Nigerians. So the people that are not even Nigerians will come into Nigeria, travel all the way from wherever, come to my village and possess my land. And you tell me that I should not do anything about it. And when you refuse to do something, when they actually attacked us at Ubabe Nimbo, the governor of Enugu said had to run to Abuja to go and be begging them. They attack you. When somebody, if somebody dies for you, is it not you that you sit down in your house and people will be coming to do on 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 on, on, on for you? Don't people come to your house and say sorry? Isn't that what is done? But because some of our leaders accept the fact that we are slaves in our own country, when you are provoked, you will go to Abuja to go and beg them. Are you, what, so what? To beg them that you were attacked. Can you imagine that? But Buhari that time will enter helicopter to go to a place where he said, oh, they, they attacked Fulani men with cows. He will be, they, they attacked, that cattle rustlers killed some cows. The president of the country will take helicopter to go to that place and appear in military uniform and be warning. <clears throat> but they kill our people and our people will not do until somebody like Mazi Namde Kano, God bless his soul, said enough is enough and established the ESN to protect his people. And what you now did is that you come and shoot up a whole civilian community in the guise, in the name of searching for ESN. How come you have not captured even one ESN with all your intelligence? How come? See, eh? We will no longer not talk about war. No. You won't stop us from... Yes, if that's what it's going to come to. See, I was interviewing Professor Lumumba yesterday and a lot of you missed it because it was uh, 6 a.m. Uh, my own time here in, here in Canada. But go and click that video and watch it. Professor Lumumba said... That for all the struggles right from time, every time people have struggled to emancipate themselves, to free themselves, people always died. So sometimes you have to fight a war to gain peace. The only thing is that we have been so cautious not to talk about war. And they know that we will never talk about war because we will remember what happened during the civil war. But can you please tell them that this is 2021, this is not 1969. I did not choose to be wearing this kind of beret and wearing this, this, this dress that I keep wearing all the time. Like I cannot buy another dress. I do not choose to be leaving my beard like this looking like a madman. It is the condition, it is the situation that you people have put on me when I go out. 
about and I'm talking to some people, some people are wondering what's wrong with me. In Canada here, they look at me like they start to profile me that like, is this guy a terrorist? It is you that have put me into this condition. And so you 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 put the, 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 the talk of war inside my mouth. You put the talk of revolution inside my mouth. So it's too late. It is too late. And it is us, even the chief of army staff came out to tell you that we are afraid of the people. Didn't the military say it? They told us that we should defend ourselves. So I'm confused. I'm very confused. You that is the chief of the army, Nigerian army, you came and you told us that why are we afraid of these people? That when they shoot one or two guns, we run away. That we should not run away. We should defend ourselves. Okay, now. We want to defend ourselves now. You turn around and say, why are we why are we defending ourselves? And you said the, the the thing is, you I think see, I think you know who we are. I think you understand us very well. I think you understand the intelligence of the Biafran man. I think you know very see, people know they just want to deny it. You know we are capable of doing and undoing. Oh, when your engine had knocked, when you couldn't buy the flywheel of your gear system, your whole gear system, when you could not get your gear system and you went to Coke and Penugu and they fabricated the whole gear system with all the teeth, the whole, it has happened before in front of me, when they fabricated the whole flywheel for you, when they did another, another, what, what do they call that thing? Uh, that, 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 uh, 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 that one that spins from, from the, the drive shaft. When they fabricated the whole drive shaft for you. When they did a new horse shoe, the horse, the horse brake, the horse shoe brake. When they put a new band. When they removed the whole old battery and put a completely new battery for you. When they changed your Kekena pep and put the engine of, 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 of a, 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 a Toyota inside it so that you can do long distances. You accepted it. You accepted that intelligence. When they started a, 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 a computer village under the bridge in Abuja and when NNPC computers break down they come because it's not the woman that will get the, 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 the project it is the, the other people that will get the project to repair the computer or do the whole network system but they will come under the bridge beside the mosque to the Igbo man who is repairing the computer and selling computer under the under the under the bridge by that waterway you come down there to come and pick the guy who did not even study computer science to come and repair those computers and you go and collect the money. You knew, you understood his intelligence. Because while he was under the bridge repairing his computer and later on you came and chased him away there, the malam on top of the bridge beside the mosque is still doing his dollar exchange with his seat just balanced like this. Balance doing chopping his goro and changing his money you see I'm, I'm really so mad i'm really so provoked because these things happen everybody sees it happening don't you see it are you don't you go to computer village everywhere everywhere in, in, everywhere in lagos there's computer village who are the people in computer village you no, you tell me computer village in Kano. who are the people there why do we pretend we don't know so you know you know that you know you know who is the importer exporter importer exporter uh, uh, this one that one. you know it you know the person now who is the one who marketed your videos your nollywood videos who, who marketed this for you who started nollywood if you want to say ah today chidi your tribalist let it be because i can no longer i can't i can't handle it that you will go to my village and you'll be releasing missiles are you mad do you even know that nobody has to be in that Olo to fight this war? Do you know that all you need is a credit card 
a credit card and you pay somebody in one part of the world and that person in that part of the world will program something with Google coordinates and that thing will go to wherever it wants it to go and cause havoc. Don't you understand? Do you know what you're playing with? Oh yeah, show me the ESM people now. Show me one ESM person. Show me one ESM person. Oh, so you think they are living in the bush? You see, that's the problem now. You don't understand. You don't understand modern warfare. So when we okay, so you think it's so you think it's pop pop pop. You your that's like pop pop pop. There are videos that I cannot show you. Videos of Nigerian soldiers being just finished by Boko Haram. And these soldiers are crying and doing videos. I'm sure a lot of you have seen that video. Landmines. You cannot even solve that problem. You're coming to face. This thing that you started, can you handle it? Can you really handle it? Don't you don't you understand? Don't you don't you understand? Do you you know me? It should be you know me. Multiply my intelligence by 200 times. That is what you are up against. And this market that you have sent, they will bring it back for you now. They will bring it back to you. You say, Chidi, why are you sounding like Why would I sound like this? You want me to sit down and watch you kill my uncle, kill my auntie? Over what? Over what? Did ESN go all up, up all, all the way to 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 where Fulani people? Did you did ESN cross the Biafran boundary to go to anybody? Is it not you that came into our forest? For what? For what reason? For just tell me what? What? Why? Why would it always be us? 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 Every time we are not in the government. We are not in the in, 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 in the in the military. Anytime you you wake up, you say you suspect uh, some of our boys in the military. You carry them and you 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 just send them to the war front and you kill all of them. Go and watch that video of of, of that bomb that 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 blasted the legs of, of those Nigerian soldiers. A lot of them were even speaking Yoruba. Why is it that every time you are sending people to the war front, you choose who you send to the war front? You know what you're doing. You know exactly what you So the time to speak to you boldly and in the face and in your eye is now. You are asking for this war. You will get it. Will people die? Yes. And stop talking about people dying. Did people not die at Lekki, uh, Lekki Toll Gate? So tell me, tell me, tell me how you that keeps talking about people dying. People, tell me how you will not die. Tell me how you you think you think it's when you are not talking about war that you they will leave you. Is that what you think? No. No way. When you talk about the war, when you don't talk about the war, when you're sitting in your when they kidnap uh, people on the road, where are they talking about war? Do they belong to ESN? Are they IPOB? Do they belong to Revolution Now? Are they not normal Nigerians? So why do you think that you are safe? What makes you think that you're safe? What? You come and tell us that the full animal carrying AK-47 has a right to carry AK-47 that he is indulging in self-defense. Okay now, if he's indulging in self-defense, then let us all indulge in self-defense. Me, I will contribute money to IPOB. I have been, go and write it now. If they're going to arrest, let them start from me. I contribute money to IPOB. Go and ask the people in my locality. I contribute money to whatever they are buying. Whether they are buying granato or they are buying uh, the stick. Anyhow, I contribute money for them to buy stick. I contribute money for them to buy granite. Go and ask somebody what granite and stick mean. So if you are not doing it, that's your business. We must defend our land. It's a, if we don't do that, what, what, what else do we have for our children? 
What am I going to tell my children? What am I going to... When they are no longer able to go home. When they are no longer able to go home and my... Do you know it is a reproach? Do you even know? Just the thought of it. As a man, somebody chases you out of your house. And you are outside. And I see you and say, Uh-uh. Ah, ah. Oh boy, what did they happen? No? And you are crying. I said, what is happening? He said, I can't go inside my house. Why? Because somebody is there. What? And you call yourself a man. You are not a man. You are not. Better that you die fighting than you are a coward and you are crying. Then don't put that man no man. You are, you are a male. You are just male because of that your, that your male organ. That's what you, you are just male. No man clear. Don't put man. Because you are not man. The worst. It's not just that the person is inside your house. What is the person doing? He's sleeping with my wife. And my children are serving the man. He's eating the food from my kitchen. And you call yourself a man. And when they are talking manly talk. You come and tell us don't talk like that. Then just get out of the way. This is not the, if the kitchen is too hot for you. Just stay away. Just stay away. This is not the time to be talking weak. This is the time to rise up. I don't care who you are. I don't care what ideology you believe. But this is the time to rise up and confront these people. We must push them back. The Nigerian army is no longer a patriotic Nigerian army. The Nigerian army is run over by the Fulani uh, uh, Caliphate. So if it was an army that was patriotic we'll be talking about no we can't talk like this against the army of your country but an army that will shoot my fellow comrades who were holding the flag and singing our national anthem they cease to become a patriotic army so i don't they are they are terrorists they are tyrants so you must treat them as that an army that will take a helicopter inside the village and be launching rocket missiles inside my village are you kidding me are you kidding me you want me to respect you? i don't respect you i don't respect you if you want to see what an army does go and mess up with one american the u.s marine for oh god the u.s marine had to come inside your territory because you kidnapped one what one american one ofu one single american one american man the whole fleet do you know what is a, a whole warship do you know how many people are in that warship the warship came close to your boundary, to, came close to your territorial waters. They came close enough and they sent a military helicopter and they landed on your soil and they killed the kidnappers and rescued one American soldier. That is a patriotic army. That is an army that you are willing to die for. But your own army. Under no provocation. A set of people. Who were demanding. For good pay. For you in the military. For good pay. For you in the police. These same young people. Whose parents. Live in military barracks too. Who will finish school. And not find a job. Who are concerned about the prices of food in the same market that you, the military man, also go. They gave you bullets. Gave you gone. And you had the time. It's not that they provoked you and you reacted. And in your reaction, you shot in self-defense. You saw these children singing when they saw you. Because somebody had told them that if you that swore on oath... To defend the Nigerian flag. That if you saw the Nigerian flag. Do you understand what it means? 
Do you understand that if you went to a place, if Nigerians were attacked by another country, and suddenly in that war zone, you saw a group of people running and they were holding the Nigerian flag. Do you know that you as a Nigerian I army, mean, do you know what you will shout? Even if you don't know that those people are your enemies, you first of all, you say, hold fire, hold fire. Because you saw that flag, you cannot shoot. But these young people held the flag up and you shot them dead. And that was not that was not enough for you. You came to the whole world and you lied over their spirit. You lied over their death. Their spirit will not rest till they haunt all of you and makes you pay for that for, for that crime. It wasn't enough for you that you killed these people. You lied over them. Are you crazy? Are you not? So we will we will match you. We will not be afraid to talk about. So you, you want to scare us? You want to scare us? In nineteen in, in 2000, 2021, you want to scare us? How about now? You don't see in this year, in this age, day and time when from a phone you don't know from a phone. They didn't tell you. You, you they didn't tell you that they can they can drive a missile with a phone. Nobody told you. Ah! Information is powerful. Information is... In 2021, somebody can launch a missile. The missile will take off and be in the air, waiting for instruction. The missile is equipped with a camera. And the camera shows you on your phone where the missile can go. And all the person does is just use their finger to drive the missile like this. And it's not it's not those ones that try you must keep going forward. No, no, no. It can go forward, stop, go up, stop, hover, hover for a minute. It is equipped with the the same machine that is on your on your what in the color uh, 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 drone. Have you, have, you, have you seen how they drive? You see how they drive a camera? Have you seen the drone camera? You never see drone camera. You see how drone they walk? Drone can up, down, stop, look inside window. Oh, you don't know. You don't. You don't, you don't know that now they can look inside a particular window. Look inside a particular window. You don't know those things. Ha! <laughs> now wow, how the way go? You don't know now. Ah. No, I need to solutions, my brother. No, I need to educate them. You see, why I need to tell them this is I'm just telling you a little thing, just a little thing. The reason why I'm telling you is that enough of all this, your braggado. Enough, enough, enough already. Just stop it, stop it, just stop, stop completely. It's not impressing anybody. It is not impressing anybody at all. At all. And you will soon see. Because I, I don't know what to expect. You think it's a joke? You're coming out to say, eh, hey, you are just trying to, to protect. Eh. Hey. Which, kind, which kind of joke? What, what kind of a joke is that? What kind of a joke? What kind of a bloody joke is that? No. Ha. We will protect our place so and we will not have any apology for that. No apology at all. Nobody will apologize. Nobody will go and say, "Oh, you know what? Uh, we didn't mean it." No. What we are doing, we will mean it. We meant it very, very well. We meant it. So don't go and think that we didn't mean it. Uh, we, no, 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 no. We meant it. And I'm going to show you something to show you that we mean it. Don't, don't, don't go and think uh, that uh, uh, where we are now, where we are now, we are, we, we are, we are, we are still joking. No, we are not joking. No, we are not joking at all. 
Baba, no, we are not joking. Come and tell us that uh, 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 the military was just conducting an operation. How can you be conducting an oppression? Come on now. Huh? How can you be conducting an oppression? You conduct oppression, you come and say uh, uh, you are you. Uh, it's not it's, it's, it's not what you meant how can it be what you how can it not be what you meant see guys i'm going to show you something i need you to stay with me because i'm so mad so so mad today very very upset very very upset uh, these people they come and do this thing like we're like 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 we are like we are joking think we are joking we're not joking is it right for anyone I want to show you, um, and this is what, okay, I'm going to do it one after the other, okay, so that we don't, we don't, we don't miss it, we don't mix it up, um, to show you that these people, they know what they are doing, and then when we do our own, then they say, no, it's not what we meant to, no, we are past, we are past that point, we have past that point. I hope I'm able to get that particular point where you will see the Bauchi. I want to show you what the Bauchi state because what is all this about? All this is about Fulani Headsmen. No, don't don't deceive yourself. This what the Nigerian military is doing is just protecting the Fulani race. Let's call a spade a spade. They are protecting the Fulani race. But I would have been, I wouldn't even have bothered if they are protecting every other race the way they are protecting the Fulani race. The same thing you're doing for Fulani people, do it for job people, do it for Doma people, do it for thief people, do it for the Jukum, do it for the Gwom, do it for everybody. That's what we're saying. That is what we're saying. Don't just when you single out a particular people and you do it for them and you're what you're not doing for other people, that is when there is a problem. And we will react. We will not keep quiet. No, we will not keep quiet at all. Um, I don't know the particular area where this guy said this thing, but I'm gonna try. So let's 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 listen and you will see what the Bauchi state governor said a long time ago listen by criminals hooligans and charlatans where some aspect of criminality has been provided by that uh, forest that is called Lame Bora forest and the Ankari precincts so outside the agitation or advocacy of the environmentalists and those that are more concerned with the fauna and flora we will be able to provide a salutary effect to the country because we have over 3,000 square kilometers of land that is in the savannah, in a lush vegetation that can be used for this kind of program even to serve the nation. And while we are doing it as the federal government has conceived it, we want it to be private sector driven and we will bring those who are more familiar with it. Okay, if you say, uh, because I mean, everybody we want to see that this killings end uh, and there's peace and then people go about their businesses peacefully everybody yeah. wants to see that but when you say that you want it to be private sector led we understand that uh, the government is going to provide let me explain this video to you so the governor was talking about what the government was doing to be able to provide you know enabling environment so that full and knees can rear their cattle but the federal government, he said it's private sector driven, it's not the government. Remember, I'm trying to tell you that it's the government pro protecting the full and race. The government will provide 80%, 80% of the money that they will use to, to make this uh, uh, cattle rearing thing, uh, 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 whatever, for the full and people. So that's why this guy is asking him, if you say that it's a private sector driven, how come the government is providing 80%? Now listen. Provide 80% of the funding, the state to provide 20% and then provide the land. Yeah. How is that going to be private sector led? The government have not released any cover for that purpose up to this moment, but we don't know since we have not gained the full lines in one fold and tried to arrest their traditional uh, practice of Nigerians. 
communicate with them more because to them they don't have borders from Cameroon to in our people uh, 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 livestock and of course it was all the value chain that you can get around livestock the blood the horn the skin and of course we will try more to cultivate that culture in our people while at the same time bringing the Fulanis in one fold and try to arrest their traditional uh, practice of moving from one place to the other and that is very a uh, very big uh, an uphill task but I think we can communicate with them more because to them they don't have borders from Cameroon to Nigeria but that's the thing Excellency how do we ensure that those who will be participating in this federal government largely funded program will be Nigerians uh, in terms of the funding no in terms, in of, terms the of the operations operations <laughs> this is to it. bring in the full needs together we you see, from you other see the issue well. of misconception. I see there is a lot of mistrust and misconception with regards to the Fulani man. The Fulani man is a global or an African person. He moves from the Gambia, from, from Senegal, and his nationality is just a Fulani man. And uh, as a person, I may have my relations in the Cameroon, but they are also Fulani men. I have relations because from the maternal side, I'm a Fulani man. And that is why we want to educate people. A Fulani man sees himself as a Bayel son as uh, somebody coming from the Niger Delta, because he speaks the Niger Delta language, which you and I don't. And of course, we would have to just take this as part of our own heritage, something that uh, is, nice, is African, and that we cannot just close the border and say the Fulani man is just a Nigerian or this. No. Uh, in most cases, the crisis are precipitated by those outside Nigeria. When there is a repression... Oh, God. I'm not sure somebody is hearing what I'm hearing or seeing what I'm seeing. That the Fulani man, we just have to accept him that he is not just a Nigerian. Now, you're just thinking that the Fulani man is a Nigerian, we are wasting our time. That the Fulani man is from the Gambia, from Cameroon, from everywhere. And we need to accept that just closing the border for him, it, it, it's not right. So, do you see what we're saying? If you want to cross the Nigerian border, you need a passport. The Fulani man doesn't need a passport. He doesn't need a passport. So, do you now see that he... he they, this is what these people believe. This is what they practice. So, the Fulani man is allowed to move all over the place without a passport, without a visa. Which... If you did it for everybody, that would be so welcome. If you decide that, you know what, every land in Nigeria belongs to every Nigerian. So that an Igbo man can go anywhere. He doesn't have to pay. There are Igbo people all over Nigeria. I know. There are Biafran people all over the place. Ejo people, Efik, Ibibio. They are all over the place. But, when they get there, they pay for the land. This same governor, you will hear him down the road saying that, oh, we have Yoruba people in Bauchi. We have the no, but those people they pay. That's what we're asking you to do. We are asking that when people want to utilize the, the resources in our own place, they should pay for it. Or if you don't want them to pay for it, then don't let us pay for mechanic village in Bauchi. Don't let us pay for, for, for farms. That we are cultivating there. If a thief man wants to have a yam farm, don't make them pay for the land. Let them just enter the bush and clear it and begin to farm. So you see, you are the ones causing the problem, and you cause this problem. You, you even you're going to, you're going to hear him say that whenever there is a problem, it is not the Fulani people from Nigeria, and that's what we are talking about. What we are saying is that we know the Fulani people that used to come and then they will sell Fura de Nunu, they will sell uh, 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 honey, they will sell different things in the market. The, the men will do their hair, they will do lipstick. They used to come to the village market and you know people will see them. No. 
there is the Fulani, Fulani terrorist group. So, you, with your own mouth, you are agreeing that there is an armed Fulani terrorist group that goes around and wrecks havoc on the villages. Whenever the, 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 the category Fulani person thinks that they are being provoked, these are the people who come out. They are trained militia. So, what... When ESN is now defending their people, why are you going to shoot them down? We know all these lies. We, that's why I am so pissed off that even the governors in the East know this thing. Listen. Rise out. It is not the plan man within Nigeria that causes it. It is that culture of getting revenge which is embedded in the, in the, in the tradition of the plan man that attracts the prisoner from all so over the, the if the i understand world. it does that mean that those Fulani men who are uh maybe domiciled in other countries who move around they can come into the country and this plan will accommodate them as well yes that's what we want to do but it has to be done through sensitive did you did you hear the man say that's what we want to do i think i can i should close this program now I, 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 it, like like I don't know. Did you see them? Did you hear the man? Then why am I still talking? Why are we still here? Why are we still having this discussion? The, the matter don't finish now. The, like if you, if you, unless you didn't hear what the man said. The man said that this is what we are. That's what we are doing. We are. And did you hear that this Fulani person, this, 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 this Fulani person, is allowed to move in and out of the country. So the Nigerian immigration cannot say they don't know. You can't say you don't know the borders that these people cross through. You know. So we, they cross in and, and the thing that annoys me and that's why I am so upset with you that every time you come and you buy small data, you, you don't you look for who to attack, you'll start attacking Chidi. You see why I'm upset, but I don't have time anymore for you. I don't answer you back because I know you are wallowing in your ignorance. When we show the video of people crossing the border, I say, JD, are you sure? Are you sure it's Nigerian border? Did you see that? Did you see that? That the full but you have not you have refused to call them full and terrorists. You call IPOB terrorist group, but you come on national TV, you you believe, you say it clearly that the full headsmen carry weapons and cross into nigeria from other fulani countries to 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 wreak havoc so every time we've seen them come and kill our women rape our women this were fulani headsmen so what are you telling me should we just sit back and watch this happen hell no we will not and who are we taking the advice guess who we're taking the advice from Guess who we are taking the advice from? We are taking the advice from you. Yes, you. You that is speaking. You are the one that advised us on what to do. Look at tradition. Telling them you have to buy in in the project. And you use the language, the culture is up to be able to convince them. Away from the mistrust where the whole system of transhumans or pastoralism is criminalized. Criminalization of pastoralism is the problem that we have with this, with this project. And it requires people with passion who understand them and who they believe in, people like us from that part of the country, to say, yes, we have this. Because today there is no limit to the accusation that this and that has happened and it is the Poland man who caused it. There is no tribe that is not, uh, that you don't have this uh, criminality. The same man this same man that is talking through through his reasoning through i don't know where he's reasoning through i'm going to show you because we're i'm focusing on him because we're 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 taking advice from him so we will we will, we will take advice from him what he said and all of that that's what we're going to take advice from so you listen to what this man had to say these are the same people oh, that you are inside the same Nigeria with. And when we talk about them, our governors 
don't seem to agree with us. Listen, because these people, they talk boldly. That's why we must also talk boldly. It's a man and a man that is doing something now. Ah, your fellow man is talking to you. Every time you want to talk, you hide. No more hiding. As the person, they talk boldly. That's why, that's how we should be talking boldly. If the person talk of AK-47, we talk of a bigger 47. Tell you something that I told my colleagues about the cut, uh, headers and farmers' craft clashes in, in, in Nigeria. You have seen what our colleagues in the southwest are doing, and some of them from the southeast. Some of us told them with all modesty and humility, You are wrong. But the person that is most wrong is the governor of Benue State, my brother and my colleague, Governor Otto. He started all this. If you don't accommodate other tribes, we are also accommodating your tribes in Bauchi and other places. We have so many chief people working in farming in Alkaleri, farming in Tafawa Balewa, farming in Bogoro. But do they farm for free? Don't they pay for the farm? Let's continue. Has anybody told them to go? We have not, because they are on in a lineable right to be there. We have Yoruba people in Bauchi for over 150 years, even before the birth of Nigeria. Nobody has talked to them. One of them, he has been exposed to the vagaries of the forest, the animals, and now the cattle rustlers who carry guns, kill him and take away his commonwealth, that is the cows. He had no option but to, ca to carry AK-47. Because did you hear that? Did you hear that? That the Fulani man has no option than to carry AK-47. You didn't hear from you. They are not denying. See, I don't understand. The people that run around and say, gee, the people like you, 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 you're hearing it from somebody who is defending the Fulani man. He says he has no option than to carry AK-47. Did you hear that? Let me show you uh, something I had uh, I had posted uh, yesterday on a on a forum on a forum that I belong, and uh, you will see that is th this will capture this captures clearly clearly the situation that we have in Nigeria. This is a situation where one person carries a gun, and they say that person is carrying the gun in self defense. Self defense so. But another person carries the same gun and you say, oh, this person is, uh, is uh, carrying uh, where they're positioned. When that person carries their own gun, you say, no, their own is, um, what do you call it? You say they are terrorists. The same thing. So why the double standards? That's my own. Why the double standard? How come the same person the same human beings inside your own country when they carry this is it this is it and you need to see this you need to see this so that you will know when they are deceiving you or you will not allow yourself to be deceived no me i'm not allowing myself to be deceived though i'm not allowing myself to be deceived i'm going to show you this and then we'll come back but you need to see this this was something I was sharing on uh, on on uh, on a group that I belong. I I I shared this, and what I told them is that when you see this picture, and it's not that I'm being tribalistic. If I was a Fulani man, and I have Fulani friends, don't forget that I'll be feeling bad. But it is time that we call a spade a spade. Honestly, you must call out your people. When my people misbehave, I call them out too. Now, when you see this picture, when you see this picture, this is what the governor is talking about. The governor is saying that, when we, do, you see, do you see the type of gun this guy is carrying? Do you think this is a children's toy? Do you think, do you see the person carrying the gun? Do you think, the, you think this person is using a laptop? You think this person is using an iPad or iPhone? No! This person is clearly defending himself let's agree that this person is defending himself so how come when i me myself i carry 
this one when i carry this one oh all of a sudden you call me terrorist <laughs> on a self-defense so all is self-defense you carry your own like this you say self-defense me i carry my own like this <laughs> you know you're bringing a, a, a helicopter to come and look for me no problem i didn't say you shouldn't look for me keep looking for esn inside the bush you will find them or they will find you whoever gets to the other first either you find them or they find you now you they look oh and what did they do they didn't start the provocation you started the provocation let me finish with this governor and then i'll go ahead and, and say what i want to say the society and the government are not protecting him what is his fault with the fault of the government that is it you have said it all he said what is the fault it is the fault of the government your father refused to bring money for food your father goes outside very irresponsible father goes outside gives his money to women does not give your mother money your mother try and work hard and got money and cook food your father came to the house drunk saw you eating food and they slapping you and beating you and say who gave you that food that you're eating and calling you all sorts of names and accusing your mother of being a prostitute you get the time where you go reach eh? you just be moved to do something to that father because he lost the right of being a father that is the case with nigeria when a governor will open his mouth and say the government is not pro providing protection he said this man is even telling the truth he's telling the truth that's why sometimes is it right you have to look at things from two sides and so when he talked about carrying ak-47 saying it was right for for nigerians to defend themselves they of course you know what they do when he saw the kind of backlash that he got from making that kind of statement he went back to the studio he said i no, no i must change this thing they brought him back and i want you to watch this man again trying to defend what he already said and see whether just you watch and tell me whether he succeeded is it right for anyone in this country to bear AK-47 assault rifles? You see, uh, Chamberlain, usually when we mention AK-47, it's a figure of speech. I mean, if the issue is protection, self-help, you must protect yourself. You have seen the context with which I mentioned. <laughs> These people, eh, they are preaching the message for us. And yet, our state governors don't even see it. Did you, did you listen to this man? This man said clearly that you must protect yourself. He, this time around, he's not even saying like, he's not talking about uh, Fulani or anybody. He says, you must protect yourself. So how come this man himself is saying you must protect yourself? And yet, our own people are saying that we <laughs> we what we're doing is wrong how come how come listen to this man now hear what he's saying and buy some sense ak-47 is just to show you that people are because they say ak-47 carrying full men and then uh, because of the level of uh exposure these people are exposed to I said they must carry, they will be, it is, they have no option but to protect. The issue, the key word is self-protection and self-help, okay. which well, we have uh, a metal cone that are carrying uh, weapons. We have uh, vigilantes that are carrying weapons. There must be some sort of approval. But what I am saying is not to legalize carrying of AK-47. I must be understood. I was just trying to situate the problem to the extent that the desperation is too much. And there is no help from anywhere, both from the communities, even from the kings and kin, both from the local authorities, from the subnationals, and even from the federal government. So, if um, if I was um, if I was a lawyer, 
and I was putting this case out, I will, I will, I will close my argument with this video. Because this video says it all. It says there is no help. No help from the government, whether state or federal. There is no help from them. So if that is the case, then what are we, <laughs> what are we still wasting our time for? There is, no, there is no need again for us to waste our time. So, what did I come here to do today? Clearly, to sound a note of warning. To sound a clear note of warning. That enough is enough. We are tired of all this nonsense. We do not, do not want to see a repeat of what happened in Orlo. Whether it was a mistake or whether you did it deliberately. And by the way, I am praying. I am, anyway, let me just keep quiet. Because sometimes when you talk out of passion, you actually say things that uh, you don't want to say. Um, uh, le 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 let's just see what happens. Uh, some people are, have been trying to call me and they want me to open the line. Um, I've already exceeded this one hour by 18 minutes. But I'm going to I'm going to give them I'm going to give them room. So, uh, Dr. Erica, please help us place the number on the screen. Um, I guess I can take a few calls. Yes, some people because I don't know whether some people are, are as angry as I am with all of this thing that is happening. So yes, I can take a few calls. You can call and uh, tell me how you feel about the attack in Olu. Um, it was the federal government of Nigeria doing what they are supposed to do? Uh, was the president, of course, you know, you no longer hear about the Nigerian president. That one is uh, <laughs> just that one is an old issue. It's the presidency, presidency, presidency. Is the presidency right in, in, in ordering or who ordered it to start with? Was it the Senate who 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 gave the, uh, the the authority for the Nigerian army to go ahead? We need to know these things. So if you want to call, uh, the number is there in our chat room. But I can also uh, say it for those of you who are watching on uh, on YouTube, the number to call is plus one six four seven nine eight nine two eight three seven. Please call on the direct line. Call on the direct line. And if you are not picked, just keep trying, please um uh so the number to call is plus one six four seven nine eight nine two eight three seven and tell me how you feel about the bombing in in Olo by uh the nigerian army uh, using their their air force air force um attack helicopter okay that's that's what i um i i want you to do you can call and uh, those of you that called before you can call back now and I want to appreciate um, Augustine Ene for your gift of um, <coughs> five dollars. We really appreciate it. Thank you so much. And uh, zero one also zero one data solutions. Thank you so much for five dollars contribution. Hey, go ahead. Tell us your name and where you're calling from. Oh my goodness, hello, Doctor Chidi. This is Demuka from Juarez. Anyway, <laughs> go ahead. What I just want to say is this: this is unacceptable. This is evil. This is not good. And I believe the whole world is watching. Mm. If these children could be adopted in a Niger state and the helicopter is not dispersed or was not dispersed to the place, Nigeria Army could not go there to rescue yes. the children. And it's innocent citizens that are mm. chasing after carrying helicopter, no, and the and they're uh, uh, dispatching their, their the army against innocent women, children, people sleeping in their houses, people that did not even bear hands. You say you are looking for the ESN uh, army. For what? Is it time to defend your people? The defense minister said defend your people. Say Nigeria, these are cowards. So evils just choose not to be cowards right now. And they are defending themselves. I hope the whole world is watching because the Nigerian army, Nigerian government took the war to go meet these people again in their own land. Hmm. I hope the whole world is watching, but this time it's not going to work. You know why? Hmm. Other, the, the first war that other 
black people had them to fight evil. This time they have been enlightened. Yes. He, look, Tulane yes. will perish in Nigeria. Yes. I'm so. sorry to the sounding this way. They will perish in Nigeria. They will destroy themselves. They will leave evil alone. They will leave Yoruba alone. Mm. But if they don't, we're going to gather together and get rid of them in the whole of Africa. They are wasted already. Bye bye, my brother. Sorry for taking this thing. No problem. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. You see, and please thank you, Joyce, a uh, for your for your five uh, pounds uh, uh, contribution. Thank you so much. We appreciate it. You see, I was t see. Oh, I was talking about Biafra. Yoruba people are pissed and met. See, can you imagine? <clears throat> Go ahead, comrade uh, Ebenezer Komolafe uh, from Toronto. Go ahead. Thank you, sir. Uh, I just uh, I like what the last caller just said. Now, what we need to see is there's a a particular peculiar trend to the way the Nigerian government is using army against anybody that first of all is trying to defend themselves against the incoming or already existing Fulani, you know, uh, marauders and land grabbers, which is part of there's no doubt again that buhari government has an agenda okay look at it in in in, in all your state for many years this full army people tormenting people killing raping nothing was was done the sunday go of a man stood up and now we are hearing different story the same army led this full army people in Ogun state to go and be you know they they, they back them up to go and be beating up others killing people doing everything we see again now they oh they just they just kidnap people in kagara nothing's been done there now they are focusing on all just because they know that esn is becoming a formidable force there will be a stumbling block in their path to taking over the whole land in nigeria we have woken up and i like this program which is bringing out the real information let the other people that are publishing the propaganda and trying to skew the truth away from them we will not back down on this we all must wake up now and support all the people that are fighting and all the missions all the all the plans to 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 resist this full and you know take over of our land thank you thank you so much Ebenezer. thank you very much you see uh, somebody said shave your beard <laughs> bros that is the that is the the smallest of my problem shaving that they, they when they do their beard like this they will come they talk make come they fear them any any how that they want it uh the caller on whatsapp you need to be quick because they can cut you off any minute uh, good afternoon uh, dr chidi good afternoon see please call me on the direct line call me on the direct line um hello go ahead uh Tell us your name. You're calling from New Jersey. Yeah, hello. Hello. Yeah, Bertie, good, good afternoon. Good um, afternoon. Thank you so very much. This is Chichi. I'm calling from New Jersey. You go ahead. Thank God for, for people like you that are out there doing the great job that you're doing. I, I just want to, I'm so, so pained watching what's going on back home but one thing i know is that god god will never allow these blood suckers go free mm -hmm. and i want to also sound a warning to all these people these people that have refused to report this thing that is going going on because it's going on in evil land i want to warn them that they're the, the blood their hands are, are dripping with blood because you see evil happen and you chose to look the other way god is going to require the blood of these innocent people in their hands and i want to thank god for marvin and i want to thank god for the um, eastern security network and my prayer is that the lord will continue to protect the lord will continue to provide the lord will continue to give them more wisdom this this fight the lord is fighting this battle and victory
delivery is ours. Thank you so Thank much. You. Thank you. God bless you. Thank you very, very much. Thank you. You see, what these people don't understand is, and I don't know who advises them, when you do something, you should check to see people's reaction and people's response. People are not supporting what you're doing. It's not like before when you deceived other people to turn against. Hold, hold on, please turn us down and, and stand by, please. People are not supporting them. Don't they see? Who who are you going to fight this? The, the house of people are not supporting you. Your people are not supporting you. Other people are not supporting you. So you're on your own. But I guess you there's a better way of, of, of sending this message to you and you will find out very soon. Call on the line. Go ahead. Tell us uh, your name and where you're calling from. Hello. Good morning from my side. Um, my name is Achina. I'm calling from uh, Maryland, USA. Go ahead, Chine. Um So, uh, first of all, I have to thank you for for all all the effort that you're, you've been making towards the fight, towards, uh, towards the struggle, different avenues, different ways, different methods. Mm. We're getting the, the, the um, information to the limelight. Yeah. So, this is so frustrating for me, um, especially for some of our people who are still, um, I, I, I don't even know how to describe it, who are still acting like, you know, the struggle is, is it shouldn't be happening. Mm. Um, funny enough, I was having a conversation, today is Friday, mm. I was having a heated conversation with my dad mm. on, uh, I was either, yes, I think yesterday night or the day before. Mm. And um, it's uh, you know the whole thing about what's happening or you know one and a half you know and let's not have another war. I said, Dad, there's war already in no, it was two days ago. I said, there's <laughs> war already on our doorstep. Exactly. I said, listen, I know that I know your I know your generation is traumatized by the Gaffron War. Mm. However, do you want these people to come to take over our land? Do you know we, we will never be the ones to fire the first shot? Exactly. Never. MNK is doing everything doable to do things a peaceful way. Every every documentation going through ICC, how many ever times has been to ICC? The other day on Simon Network's um, program, they were talking yeah. about a 95-page 90, document. Yes, I know of that. Presented yeah. to ICC with you know evidence and all the things going on a lot of work to um um save our people that have been imprisoned our women that are being raped and presented to these uh, to these uh, um uh, army uh, demons to be serviced all these like our women being caught up to pieces every day isn't that war it is hmm. war already and then right after that conversation the next day this started happening you see? you see? So, a lot of people from his generation, you know, in their 70s, their 80s, still thinking in that mindset, oh, you know, let's not have another war, it's terrible. Like, no, these people would take our land and there's nothing. I was asking him, how, how would you feel my generation, my children, and their generation not, no longer be able to do things that we are able to do as people, people, or as ethnic people, as video people, things that we do naturally and normally without Sharia law taking over, you know, just crippling us, making us slaves in our land. So no, 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 no. We have to fight with every bit, every, every, every way possible, you know, for people like us here, um, actually being, being becoming members of, of IPOP, doing whatever donations that we can donate to uh, to Eastern Security Network, wherever way, if we cannot be in the forefront fighting the physical war, whichever way we can contribute, we should all do so, please, my brothers and sisters. And another point that I really want to make, um, uh, Dr. Chidi, is this. It really, 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 really angers me when some of our people some of the Biafrans feel like, uh, why are we um, talking talking about um, your know, do our issues? Let us focus our, on our own. No, no, we are in this fight together. We are fighting the same demons together. We're fighting the same monsters together. We should not uh, um, continue that division that the foreigners, the foreigners put in us. We should not continue that division. We should stay together and know that we're fighting this together. Yes, thank so, you, thank you so much, my, my Biafran brethren. Please, 
let us know we're in this together. Thank, thank you. you. Thank you so okay. much. Yeah. You see, just to piggyback piggyback on what my sister said, just hold on with the calls now. Just hold on with the calls a little bit. You see, like just like somebody, and I'm gonna mention your name. Uh, you, people like you piss me off. And uh, you know I don't usually talk like this. You call yourself uh what Ada Ada uh, what did you uh, and I don't like it. You know I don't like it. Ada Zion. I don't like it. You're saying, Dr. Chidi, acknowledge that uh, Nigeria has failed and they want Nigeria is a me. Bullshit. That's not what we're talking about here. You are the, We are busy talking about what is happening in our law and how the Nigeria. You're here telling me. You think I have time for this kind of nonsense? That's what I. Now, videos are popping up. They argue. It is to distract you. We have passed that age of Awolo will say this, Zeke say this, Awolo is the one. No, Zeke is the one. Is are they the one? Is Zeke and Awolo in our law now? Is Zeke and Awolo in Ogun State? Is it Zeke and Awolo that is running all over uh, Yoruba Forest? No. Forget about all this nonsense talk and face reality. We are talking about you had a full and person. Telling you that the people that are in your backyard, the people that are in your forest right now, are from outside Nigeria. That they have a right to bear arms. The chief of defense or whoever it is came and told you that you should bear arms. And ESN is bearing arms to defend themselves. They, say they have told you now that everybody in Nigeria is de defend yourself. That's what the matter is right now. Everybody who is talking about this, you should support them. Omo Elisha already said, look, let us have a revolution already. Let us scatter this whole thing and start afresh. Now the Kanu says, you know what? I think all of these people, all of these uh, protests that you're doing, enough of it. A revolution is what we need. How many times do you want to hear it to make you know that all the freedom freedom fighters are fighting the same demon like our sister is saying? You waste your time talking about who is in one Nigeria, who started the war, who didn't start the war, who is a saboteur, what Zeke did, what Awolo. If you if you are going to talk and talk about that, just go and use your data to talk about it elsewhere. Not 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 now. They are telling you that they took helicopter, they, they went and bombed the village. It's how does Awolo affect it? Please, if you're not ready to contribute meaningfully, just get off from, from this discussion. Hello. Go ahead and tell us Hello, where you're calling from. Good morning, sir. Good morning, my brother. Yes, sir. My name is uh, Chinedu. I'm calling from uh, Georgia. Go um, ahead, Chinedu. I just, I just want to say a few things. Number one, whatever these people are planning is not going to work. This is not 1967. Number two, we have the resources especially those of us that live in the diaspora, we have the resources to fund this ESN. And I'm just, you know, I'm appealing to everyone out there, please, whatever you can contribute, because this is no longer a matter of, oh, it's, a, it's all like this propaganda. This is real now. It is real. So whatever you can contribute, please, just do it. Because if, you're, if we're not careful, you wake up one day and realize that you cannot even go back to your village. It's a fact. So, enough of this uh, sitting on the fence and condemning the and and IPOB. The time for action is now. It is real. So, I don't, I don't understand, you know, see, these so-called politicians, they are not going to help us in any way. Let's just forget about them. You know, if you have for, if you have for how we lose here, but this is the time to stand up for ourselves and defend our land. Thank you so much. It's Thank as simple you. as that. Thank Enough you, of this nonsense. Thank we're you, not man. we're not we're not cowards though, and we're not a defeated people. Thank Forget you. about whatever happened in nineteen sixty seven, it will not happen again, no. It will not. Thank it you. It will not Thank and it cannot much. happen. Thank you. Thank you very much, sir. Yeah. Thank you. You see, and I need someone to I've been trying to get in touch with um the media um rep of uh, Mazin Amdekano, and I wish I got through to her. She actually asked me to call her much later. But I need someone to post the link. They are raising money today. They have a, a Zoom link. I need someone to to post that link for me. Where we're going to be um, we're going to be broadcasting it by 7 
p.m. Okay, okay. Thank you, Dr. Erica. Okay, thank you. So that means we're going to be joining in at uh, 7 p.m., which is almost like uh, one and a half hours from now. We're going to be joining that um, that fundraising that they are doing. If you're still sitting on the fence and you say, oh, I'm not going to sponsor uh, arms, I'm not. that's your business. That is your business. This thing is going to be fought. This war, war. Yes, you heard it from me. There's a war. Did you hear what our sister said? She told her father, don't still be fearing about war. There's already a war. So, uh, call on the line. Please just stand by. Calling from uh, Florida. Right. Just hold on one second. There, there is already a war. We are already in a war. That's what she told her father. And this war is being fought on several fronts. You see me, I am 100% in support of ESN, in support of IPOB, in support of Mazinam the Kanu. You see me with my orange beret. I am a full time, full supporter of Revolution Now movement. I am calling for a revolution yesterday. I want it to happen yesterday, not even now or tomorrow. So you have to understand what we're doing here. Whatever, every, whichever one comes first, if all of the people in that country rise up right now, rise up right now from every part of that country, we, all of this will be over now. Don't you understand? All right, uh, go ahead, my brother. Uh, tell Hi, us your good name. Morning, Dr. Right, good morning. My name is Andrew. Uh, I'm a Yoruba man, yeah. and I just want to contribute my own uh, stuff with this, what is going on right now. When yeah. I was, yesterday I was watching the video whereby um, the military, they are flying their helicopters mm -hmm. and doing whatever they are doing and all. That is absolutely nonsense. That is, it, it, it doesn't make, it, it, it doesn't even make any sense. I'm a Yoruba guy. I love my Yoruba brother. I think this is my own contribution. Mm -hmm. TV. We already have a lot of media house. Like I'm not saying I'm I'm talking about like you know like watching media and some other parts. I think we can do something. People that are fighting like ESN, let them continue to keep fighting this war. And people like us, we can continue to you know like contributing whatever we have, twenty dollar, ten dollars. It will go a long way. But another thing I think another thing that I think we can also do is like please, Doctor Doctor Shidi. Yoruba and Igbo, we have to collaborate. We have to come together. We have to fight this war together. These full and people, they are our, like, now, they used to be like secret enemy. Now they are coming to our face, like, yes, we hate you and we are going to kill you. That is what they are telling us. And we have to stand firm. We need to come together. And one thing I want to suggest is this. I think we need to call on you know, either you buy if you you buy guy, you you that you buy or you buy man, you buy lady, whatever. Evil. We need to start doing something. Whoever that knows how to think, whoever that knows how to make jingles, we need to start making some kind of jingles that we consist both Yoruba and evil culture. Let's begin to feed our people with this kind of love, so people can see that we are together. There are so many people out there that. They might not be able to listen to YouTube or whatever, but in one way or the other, the message we get across to them, we need to fight correctly. You know, tell our people that we are together. Like, for example, if any business wants to open, if you want, like, if, if, if the consideration of your business is like you want it to, you know, to start from either in Yoruba land and the Yoruba land, we, they know how to do this thing. And I don't know, like, for example, I'm not here to, you know, to, I'm not here to, you know, maybe trying to let people know about something. There's one Yoruba guy. He, I mean, his name is Michael Diary. If you see the kind of jingle that this guy uses whenever he wants to go on YouTube or something, this guy is a Yoruba man. But the people that did the jingle for him, they are evil. I love that. Right like from the beginning, I like listening to evil music. I don't understand the language. I just love the beat. So I'm just, I mean, I'm telling, I'm, 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 I'm appealing it's okay, to my it's okay, my brother. Yoruba brother. Let me take this some other calls, okay? It, 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 no thank you thank you very much thank you very much yeah. thank you yeah um go ahead uh dr ikem chukuneke um uh, sorry i know you've been trying to get in just hold on one second hold on for me one second hold on one second um please okay. guys uh let me just pause and uh, apologize to one of our sisters um i didn't even he's a she's a very very 
strong supporter of what we do she's always here supporting i didn't I, I was just so you know when you're angry just just fills your eyes so when i just i didn't even read very well i want to apologize to you ada zion uh, it's uh, you know you know i love you you know uh, you've always supported us so please uh, I take back whatever I said. I, I'm just very, very upset. Okay, so let's just make up and, and continue, all right? And um, uh, so that's it. Um, my brother, Doc, go ahead and make your point. <laughs> yeah, thank you, Dr. Shit. I, I know this state of mind you are in right now. Uh, so I will also explain the same um, uh, uh, kind of um, apology to the uh, listener that you addressed uh, shortly. Yeah, yeah. Uh, I mean, uh, my sister, you should also understand what we're going, in, uh, going that is going on right now. I mean, people are dying. People are dying and the world is silent. It's like you know, nothing is even happening in that uh, nick of the wood. We're not hearing you, very. you're not loud. Okay, I'm, I'm saying that, uh, you know, the kind of situation that is going on now will actually make, make anybody actually uh, mad. I'm actually uh, calling from uh, New York, the Bronx, yeah, sure, sure, sure. in the United States of America. Mm. So, uh, I mean, Chief is a brother. Uh, we've been in this trouble. I mean, even when people didn't even know what was happening going on. Right now, I mean, everybody is seeing the, the, the clarity of everything that is being talked about long before it even happened. Four years, five years You know, ago. Doc, you know, you know, now, uh, 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 wait, hold on. People, <laughs> people don't understand. <laughs> people don't understand. So people, people are just, people people are are just waking up now. now. People, people like Dr. Dr. Ikem Chukuneke. More than 10 years now. Uh -huh. I'm, calling us all types of I'm names. telling you. At the United Nations, uh -huh. we have been on the, on, on the behind of hmm. the Congress in the way. Oh, Washington my God. We even, we even try to come into Nigeria to so even fight for presidency, for governorship. In the legal way, they, they said that they, we should do. Oh, you guys are making noise in the, on the internet. You are in America. You are in Canada. You are in the, in the UK. Come down to Nigeria. We went we, and did that. Okay, the young man in the Canada, he's in the UK. He was doing his own thing, you know. He was finding his business. We are all doing, I'm, I'm a doctor, you know. I'm, I'm practicing. I have something meaningful. It's not like I'm, I'm a guy on the street, okay. Hmm. You know, so, so basically, Dr. Chin is an architect. In 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 in, 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 in 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 Canada, he could have just just sat down and just minded his business with his beautiful wife, who is also an architect. That's a that's a million million dollar business right there. Okay, but he comes down to sometimes I said to him, man, on a whim like this, you just come to the, to, 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 to to New York. I think you 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 live with us, yeah. Then my God, I let you push him. You know, so I'm happy that you guys are waking up. The, best, the earlier the better. It's still early now. Everybody, all hands have to be on deck. Stop calling them now. They can't mad or angry. The only reason why that young man is mad and angry and talks the way he did does is because people are blinded. People are still, we're still sleeping. So how else can you wait a, a person that is on slumber? If you cannot curse the person out and wake him up, at least let's get you angry. It's and okay. You it's okay, dog. It's okay, dog. Okay, no, so I, I mean, thank God everybody is Waking up, please Thank let you. all hands be on deck. Thank Support you. Support financially. Don't just make noise on the internet. Yes, sir. Come out yes, that demonstration good. Is going on. Don't call us Rick Rap. Then, because we are doctors, ha. we have doctors, we have engineers, we have all the work people from all walks of life. Thank you. So Thank you very much, doctor. It's good that we are waiting up. But the churches also should stop this. I'm not saying stop praying, but now it's time to walk, to walk, walk, walk. All workers, if you pray without walk, Exactly. So you guys will have to come out and show point. Thank okay? you. Not Thank you. All the other boys. Thank you. And God, God bless you also, Mr. Chief. Thank you very much. Thank you. And focus. Thank you very much. Thank you. Wait with the nagging. No problem. Well, 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 if you know this man that was talking this guy has been in the struggle long time ago die hard revolution revolutionalist to a member of the revolution now movement you see you could all understand a lot of people are waking up now but we've been in this thing a long time ago that guy is a medical doctor 
Then they say, they say, all these people that are talking, they are refraps. No. No. You see people coming outside. Solidarity for it. See all these refraps. More sure is a refraps. All this. No. We're talking about people who are responsible people. IPOB come out and say, all these refraps. No. These are very responsible people. You heard what he said. He's a medical doctor. Me, I'm an architect. My wife is an architect. We are comfortable. I don't have to do this. That's why some people say, hey, he's just doing it for YouTube money. <laughs> YouTube money? Are you kidding me? Anyway, call on the line. Please go ahead. Uh, tell us your name and, and keep going. Good afternoon, sir. Dr. Chidi. Now, Mr. Tosan from Vaughn. Yeah, they call you. Hey, I know. Go ahead, Tosan. <laughs> okay, okay. I, I salute your courage, sir. I salute IPOB all over the world, including everybody when one made Nigeria born to the ground. These people think say with a joke. I see the repeater and Dr. Chidi, sir. That country go born. Who go their life, go their life. Who go die, go die. We go born the country to the ground. Yes, we're not there on ground, but our money go fight the war. Whether not one dollar, one cent to ESNO, whether not twenty, whether not fifty, whether not hundred, oh, collectively we we'll go burn the country to the ground, Dr. Chidi. No going back. I don't know the advice these people, sir. In 21st century, we get satellite. I be more could they tell them, more they tell them they get away one fall for their head. Satellite day, drone day. This will just take a more time, they march into our territory. Who burn these people? They just give them uniform, rag tag army, illiterate mm -hmm. boys. You they fight with intelligence. These are school people. These mm -hmm. are people that have knowledge in computer science. Mm -hmm. Like, I, I they follow you since. Uh -huh. I they drive, they follow you. Uh -huh. They say, my data, they go. I say, make the data born. It's okay. Now, Canada, are they? Uh -huh. Who they advise these people? We know they the era of guns and bullets. They, oh. like, they say they fight uh -huh. oh. all. <laughs> you, you, you know, some things are so annoying, Dr. Uh -huh. Extremely annoying. I'm awesome. <laughs> we go burn the country to the it's ground. Okay, we need to go back. It's okay. Thank you. Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you, sir. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. You see, he just said one very, very interesting thing there. It, this is this is 2021. No, I don't know who is advising these people. By the way, I was saying 7 p.m. Nigerian time. It's not 7 p.m. Nigerian time. They're doing the fundraising. It's 7 p.m. Uh, uh, yeah, Houston time. Uh, I think Houston time must be the same time as us here, I guess. Uh, somebody help me. Let me look for time in Houston now. Time in in Houston. Uh, okay, but let me take this call. Yo, my brother, my sister, who is calling? Tell us your name and where you're calling from. But I didn't hear it well. I want to know how to donate. How do we donate? Okay, okay, how okay. It was your, your my sister that called before. You're calling back. Okay. Yes. Yeah. Okay. How, how to do donate. donate? Okay. Check check the chat room. I'm going to post it there now. Somebody, Doctor Erica, will post it up for us. Okay. Thank you. All right. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah. Thank you. I. Uh, oh my goodness. The caller from United Kingdom. You dropped again. Go ahead and call back. Um. You see, these people that this person that called last, calling from Texas, and you know they have a power outbreak there, but still, they 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 are they are calling, and I don't know how she's even coping, but she she's calling to make her contribution. So, caller from UK, please tell us your name. Yeah, Dr. Chede, how are you? I'm good, sir. How are you? I'm good, I'm good, I'm good. Kid, uh, quick one. It's your brother Gutsu from London. Okay, Gutsu. Kid, I want to make something clear here. Mm. Huh? Mm. You see, that the day Mazin Nambekano, huh? mm. uh, they came to kill him with a pressure person down. Yes. That was the day we restored the other. Yes. And let me, let me make it clear. You see this uh, whole group of them, huh? Mm. Uh, Mazin Nambekano don't say too much. It's just a matter of time. Just watch him. It's, on, it's, on, it's in hiding now. I hope you are your voice are here. If you say that you are a governor, come out as with your interact again on the road. Come out. Ma, uh, Teddy, 
Mm. Um, I will not say too much, but I'm telling you that that idiot is on the run. He knows it. Nobody is hiding. But I'm telling him, he has come to give me an anchor, and we'll cut off his neck in public. No problem. But, uh, thank you, for giving thank you very much. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. Um, please call on the line. Go ahead and tell us uh, your name and where you're calling from. Ah, uh, okay. You just called to spy. One, um, oh, Diego, man. See, <clears throat> this is the kind of energy that your any en your enemy needs to see. This is the kind of energy they need to see. You don't. You don't have to be a coward. You don't have to. You don't have to. When you rise, you say the alleged, alleged, or uh, a Nigerian army conducting a. No, 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 no. If they shot a, 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 a missile, they shot the missile. Now you see. <clears throat> before, that's why I wonder who advises these people. Before you will see that um, they will shoot, and there will be no news about it. But now. There is video, video capturing when this thing happened. There is a video capturing when it is happened. So, for real, we know that it is happened. We know that it's happened. So, there is no need our uh, uh, being very careful. <laughs> Chedi, be careful, oh. don't incite violence. Oh, what, what, that is the greatest disservice that you That's the greatest lie. How can you slap me and tell me not to cry? And when I start crying, you say, Chidi, this your crying is inciting violence. So this your crying will make the person that cried you to feel upset and emotionally distressed. That is pure wickedness now. That is very wicked. Abba, you beat me. When you beat me, it is not emotional distress. You don't care whether it cost me pain. All of a sudden, me, I begin to cry. And when I begin to cry, now you say I'm bringing emotional, uh, 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 waiting the color. I will let me repeat this story as I as I plan to round off. I'll be rounding off in six minutes, so please maybe we should suspend the calls. I've told this story before about the woman in my village. This woman went to fetch water in the early morning. Another woman from another village that used to oppress my own village people use a stick to break this woman's pot you know the clay pot that they carry on the head as you used to fetch water this woman just cried all the way back home with the broken pot and she went and reported to the elders the elders now gathered these two women together you know the women from my side and the women from from this woman's village and they called them together on the on the day of uh, of the case to settle the case for them they now told the woman from the other village to say what happened. The woman said what happened. After that, they now called the woman from my village. They said, uh, nah, one, one man, tell us what happened. The woman from my village said, my elders, I respect you. The people that own me, my husbands, I respect you. It was early in the morning, you know, that we went to fetch water. The next thing, this woman, just went and uh, brought brought one stick, one one stick as big as this. Look, this just one stick as big as this. She has already grabbed the stick. See, as I was looking, oh, this woman danced like this. He danced like this. He moved from one. I, I was just watching this woman. I didn't know what this woman had in, in, in mind. As she was telling the story, she was dancing and getting closer to the woman, and everybody was watching her demonstrating. He said, before I knew what was happening, this woman raised this stick over her head and it to why on my head. As she was describing it, when she raised the stick, she landed the stick on top of that woman's head. She now dropped the stick and said, hey, now we can start settling the matter. I'm going to end on that note. I am going to end on that note. They say, a word is enough for the wise. Um, 7 p.m. in Houston is uh, they are uh, one hour behind us, so that's going to be 6 p.m. here, and that will be like uh, 12 uh, midnight in Nigeria. So it's going to be happening around 12 midnight in Nigeria. The the, the raising of the funds. Everybody 
whether you are Igbo, whether you are Yoruba, whether you are even Hausa, whether you are Hausa, you need to support what ESN is doing because it is the Fulani. Unfortunately, I really, really feel bad for my Fulani friends, but unfortunately, it is the people from your tribe that are creating this problem that we have and we must defend ourselves. So I'm calling on everybody to support ESN, to support Mazin Namde Kano, and um, uh, in whatever way they are. I am still uh, from the Revolution Now movement. I am still a supporter of, uh, of um, uh, Omoyele Showere. I am still a member of the Take It Back movement, and I support every effort to bring sanity to that country, Nigeria. Uh, on behalf of all of us, in the Toronto studios of Worship Media and on behalf of Dr. Erica, I want to tell you to please um, take care of yourself and um, we love you so much. Bye-bye.